Hi guys. Hey, so update. I just finished up my appointment with my oncologist. Um, my husband and I are heading down the hill to go get some weed whacking thing that apparently we need. Um, but I thought I would do an updated video for you guys. Um, so today is Saturday. This past Thursday, I had a CT scan to find out if I could get rid of this bulb. See that little sucker, Chris? That thing has been in me since May 20, I mean, March 24th. It is April, what, 23rd? Anyway, it's been a month that I've had this sucker in me. 22nd. It needs a name. Oh, it's April. the 22nd, so two more days, it'll be a month. Anyway. Uh, had a CT scan done, read the results Friday at a doctor's appointment, and the doctor basically said he wasn't 100% sure that removing the bulb um, now wouldn't mean that later on something might develop and I need to get it placed again. So I was like, well, please don't do that then. Let's leave it in. Um, but we are testing all the fluids to find out why I have so much fluid coming out of this drainage um, a month later. So uh, results should be in by Wednesday, I think is what he said. And then next week for sure, as long as there's no infections, we'll remove the bulb. And if you didn't know, that tube that's attached to the bulb goes straight into my right butt cheek, like right next to my butt crack. So to say this has been a pain in my ass is putting it lightly because literally my right ass cheek is completely sore all the time now. Anyway, um, today I had my oncology appointment and the doctor said that we're going to start trying to schedule my port placement and I'll probably do that surgery in Mountain View because that's where his favorite surgery surgeon is for that and then um, I'll start chemo May 25th and I'll be doing carboplatin, taxol and Keytruda as a immunotherapy and then um, got both of my results back from my Natera blood test and those were the tests to trace the amounts of cancer or if there was any cancer in my body still from like the surgery when they removed the tumor and they both came back positive. Um, I think the number he said was like 0.24 Four. Four or something. So he did say that the first test came back higher than the second test. So the second test showed less cancer, but the fact is the fact that it's positive. So I think with those tests, I really don't know them yet. I haven't had time to research. I was trying to research last night. Um, but the Natera blood test is, uh, is a newer blood test. It's I think within the last few years, a lot of oncology doctors don't know about it. So you have to ask for it. It's by Sign Signatera, I think, Signatera. And I think that's the S-I-G-N-A-T-E-R-A. -E I don't have my box with me, but I, I wanna say that's what it's called. And then if you just look up Natera, N-A-T-E-R-A, -E um, oncology, it'll pop up as well. And you can tell your doctor you want that testing. And this testing detects early cancer. So you can do it once every six months. If you've ever had cancer and you just worry about, you wanna have that that uh, relief of worrying if it's coming back or not, or not knowing, you can take that test once every six months, your doctor, um, asks for it and or prescribes it or whatever and they will come to your home or to your work and do your blood draw um, they're pretty flexible but um, your insurance will cover it and then if you're coming out of treatment and you want to just monitor outside of all these scans which if you guys have been watching me I stayed on top of my scans and somehow I ended up with a big mass again so I don't really know how much those scans really mean to me at this point. So to have early detection that 
measures even smaller than what a CT scan or a PET scan can measure, that's huge to me. So we've been doing every month this Natera blood draw. So, uh, but today, however, my doctor said, my oncologist said, there's no need to, to continue doing blood draws right now because um, it is positive. It was two, a double positive. So both tests were positive. So he said in three, um, after three chemo sessions, then we'll go ahead and do another Natera blood draw to see like if in fact it is getting lower or if I'm in the negative. The, the goal is you want a negative reading, not a positive. And I have two positives, so. But we kind of already knew that was gonna happen. Anyway, is there anything I'm missing, honey? I'm rambling, I had a lot of coffee, sorry you guys. Just started coffee again. It's really hitting hard. Um, but yeah, the stoma situation's going good. Um, getting used to it. I really have decided I like, sorry, I'm in my husband's truck and he got a call. Um, I really like Coloplast, um, the Shiro Mio. I don't know. Look them up. Something Milo. Um, their bags. I like the two piece. I have a colostomy bag, not an illostomy. I think that's what it's called. I have like the actual fecal matter. I don't have the fluid. So these bags work great for me. You can adjust them however you want. Um, I do have a slight hernia at my, my stoma. So I've ordered two coloplast belts for that, but one was too small and then I waited too long to return it. The second one was the right size, but they make you cut out your own circle. And of course the artist that I am figured I could totally eyeball this and I ruined it. So round three is the trick. It's going to be good. So I'm ordering another one and hopefully that will help me to push in my stoma area because it looks kind of like a little ET coming out of my stomach. Wouldn't you say it's kind of like ET? Oh, I think it looks like ET's trying to phone home. But, um, too much talking. Oh, I'm talking too much. <laughs> Anyways. All right. Well, love you guys. If you have any questions, drop them below.